What's going on guys and welcome to Dyson Sphere, a game you guys have requested a lot, a lot on this bloody channel and I think it's time we're starting a new chapter, we're going to start a brand new series uh, and it's going to be a new level of content that we're going to be producing on this channel as well. We're going to take it up a few notches and I hope you enjoy it. So remember if you enjoy these contents remember to like, subscribe and also leave a comment even if it's just a bloody emoji. You know how we do it on this channel by now, especially if you've been here long enough. If you're not, hi, my name is Bits, and I do a lot of games um, on this channel, on another channel, and on another channel, and on another channel. Links are all in the description if you want to check out where I do all that content. But without further ado, let's jump into Dyson Sphere, and let's start this brand new adventure. All right, so we've just been introduced to the Set Destination page, and we can see Cluster Seed. So if you want to play along or just join the adventure uh, and have the same like cluster right here, Put that into your new save game and play along. Uh, also, number of stars are going to 64. Resource multiplier is set to infinite. So we are not going to run out of resources. So the ore and the copper and all that, all them veins will not deplete. Um, but maybe in another season we will. I feel like I just want to get the base game rolling. I want to get some stuff doing without rebuilding something in another location because this ore has been depleted and my optimizations have all gone. I don't want to worry about that just yet. So without further ado, let's start this. Here we go. We are landing on our home planet. We will start Gamma Gemma, Geminorum 3. So we should be able to now orbit around this planet and kind of choose our little landing spot. Unless it's a set designated thing. I don't know how this works. As you can tell, I have turned off the, the tutorials and all that kind of stuff. Uh, reason being, I kind of went all over that on Sunday on the live stream. And as of Monday, yesterday, uh, we started working on uh, the behind the scenes of these videos. So if you ever want to watch these and how I build these YouTube videos, uh, well, uh, the save or each episode, make sure to check out my Twitch stream. Or if you can't, unfortunately, watch the Twitch stream, check the uh, VOD channel as well. Uh, I believe three episodes should be up there right now. So you can be three episodes ahead of what you're seeing right now, because this is obviously episode one. But if you want to see the bits that are not cut from the video, check out that channel. It's probably the best thing to do for you if you want some more information. So we've just landed on our planet and we can see we have some copper. We have some iron and all that kind of good stuff. Right, so the first thing we're going to do today is we're going to put down our first miner here. Uh, we're going to put that into... Come on. Come on. There it is. A good spot of eight. And then we're just going to get ourselves a... Uh, wind turbine put you down there and we're just going to get you powering that just so we can grab the iron so we can handcraft stuff because obviously that's what we need to do right now and then we're going to do the same for this copper over here as well and then we're going to grab ourselves a little turbine a little power pole get you powered then we're going to do the same for the stone and then again wind turbine and power so now we can just go up to like these over here and I can just hold control and just pull them off there. Iron ore goes into my inventory. We've got 178 in there now all together. But then also what I want to do is with these wooden leaves and stuff, I want to kind of put these into my mech so we can keep the power because obviously our power is going to start draining down here. Uh, and now that we've got that done, we want to start some form of automation. But to do that, we actually need to go into our tech tree, which is quite extensive, as you can see. And the way I'm going to go forward with these videos, I want to make sure that we unlock what we need to with the specific episode. So if we're doing anything with thermal power, we're going to unlock stuff around thermal power. If we're not, we're not going to unlock it just because I don't want to unlock loads of things that I can do just because I can. Uh, I think I feel like it'll help with the story of each episode. What kind of quest will kind of work in our quest? I don't know why I'm saying quest. What is this World of Warcraft? Um, but we're going to go and unlock basic logistics. We're going to unlock the smeltery so we can start smelting some of the iron and copper. And then I want to start getting the assemblers done as well. So we can see up in the left hand corner, we're going to need 10 cogs. We're going to need 10 circuit boards. Uh, let's see how much all together, in fact. So that's going to need 10, 10. So we need 30, 30 circuit boards, 10 cogs and 10 magnets. So if we go into our uh, replicator here, we're going to need 30 of these. So we can click this plus arrow, so we're going to want 30 of them. No, we wanted 20. 
Damn it, we wanted, tw <laughs> we wanted 20 of them. We wanted 30 of these. One, two, three. Then we needed 10 magnetic coils. And then that should be enough. Right, so the research has now been complete. So what we can do now is we can put down our smelters and our belts and all that kind of stuff. Because in the buildings, our assembler, our belts, our sorters, our smelter and storage have now been unlocked. And I've already built some over here, as you can tell. I've got eight uh, arc assemblers ready to go. I've got one assembler, a couple of uh, wind turbines and so on and so forth. Um, so I thought I may as well stock up on them. Uh, so we can build our belt that comes out of here. And it's just going to go into a straight line like that. Bada bing, bada boom. And then we're going to put down four smelters. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, like this. And then we're going to get a belt that comes along here, like that. And then we're going to go this way as well. And then I'm going to grab the sorters. And we're just going to... No, I'm going to put down the storage, in fact. I'm going to put a storage there. And then I'm going to double stack that. And for those that don't know... If you put a, 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 a belt in there, it's actually going to double stack. So it'll fill the bottom one first and then it'll work on the top one. Um, we don't need to actually build like a, a bridge that comes along here and these searches go into there. And now what we're going to do one, two into there as well. So now that we've done that, let's get our inserters going into this. I'm just going to put this down into you, you. We're going to put two going in because this is going to be coming out and then this is going to be coming out. So it's a two to two. I'm going to put that there, put that there, put that there. Like I said, I'm no expert on the game. I'm still learning the game as I go. And I'm just kind of working on what's best for me. Uh, just bringing my knowledge over from other games uh, and all that kind of good stuff. So now that we've done that, we're going to pick our recipe, which is going to be iron plates. And then I'm going to hit the copy key. And then I'm going to press the forward arrow key. And it allows me to paste my items in there. But we also need to put down our inserters on this side as well so we're going to put you from belt to machine belt to machine and then we need to extend our power so i've got some wind turbines here and all i'm going to do is i'm going to line it up with that one i'm going to hold left mouse button and i'm just going to drag all the way up there and my little drones are now going to build what they need to build but i want to kind of extend this a little bit and utilize as many much power as I can because they don't provide much power literally 3.3 kilowatts and now that we've got that we just need to put a tower down here in the vicinity of all of these to get all of these powered so we can just put that down there for example boom now we have production right so there we go now we've got all of this kind of a setup we can kind of see the irons coming out of here coming along these belts being put into these smelters these make the plates and then these go into the storage and as i said these will fill up from the bottom and if we click on the top one we can see that it's empty uh, but if we look in the bottom right and corner go to our statistics panel we can f officially see uh, the iron ore we're making and the consuming that's going to keep rising until obviously this you know produces the max it can do because as we can see right now it's only coming out as you know a standard amount um but i'm still kind of working out how the numbers work in this like the belts the grabbers and the machines and all this kind of stuff uh but we can kind of see our good production and consumption which is good to see as well and as you can tell from the distance over there i have put down a miner with just a wind turbine next to some coal so then the coal can go into here because obviously it's a lot better than wood and leaves to power my suit so we don't have to worry about it too much. And then in here, we can see the armor customizer. So we can see, you know, what we can do in some of these pre-built ones here. But there's so much stuff you can do. And there's no way I can dig into that today. I can change the colors and stuff if I wanted to today. But I think we're just going to leave it for now. Right, so now that we've got this done, we need to do exactly the same with the copper. Bada bing, bada bosh. We've done exactly what I've done over there. So same again, four smelters going into the storage, exactly like I've done. Um, and here's the iron. But what I've done as well is I've just been playing around with things and I've done exactly the same uh, setup. I've just added in a new miner here, which goes into four smelters, but it's making the magnets instead. Uh, and then magnets are going into the same setup. So going down this way into storage and then going down that way and into storage. And then what I've done is I've, I've, I've brought the an output onto the storage because these are buffers that's all i really want to use these for and these are going to then going to come down here and they're going to head next to the iron plates just because the magnets actually need to be mixed with the um copper plates to actually make the um the magnetic coil so we need to get these rings and the copper sheets together so what i'm thinking about doing is if we grab ourselves a belt we're going to bring this um down here uh i don't know how far uh let's say there and then we're going to take this 
um, up here, just like that. And then we're going to bring the copper. Um, so you're going to need to come out of the storage. So let's bring that, bring that down here. Merge... Well, not merge the copper up, but bring the copper up next to this line. So our copper is going to come along here. The magnets are going to come along here. And then we're going to grab these iron plates. I'm going to bring this along here just like this. So now I can put down an assembler, which will go into that little corner. And then we're going to get two grabbers. So if these are the magnetic coils, uh, if we put a magnetic coil down there, we can see that the trip is going to take 0 0.75 seconds to get over over there right and then if we put well sorry it's gonna it's gonna take 0 0.75 items per minute uh, it's, it's per second i keep saying per minute so if i ever said per minute and it's not per minute <laughs> ignore me so we can see that's gonna take 0 0.7 trips a second uh, where this one is going to take 1.5 that's because this uh, you know this sorter is going to travel a little bit further so for me to make that up i'm going to put one going into there but then i'm going to grab two going into there which them two will then you know obviously equal 1.5 so now that we've done that we're actually going to make this to be the magnetic coils so we're going to set that up obviously it needs to be powered but because we're bringing the plates along here and the copy sheets if we actually grab ourselves another assembler which I I need to make um, let me just make one assembler well i've got to make the cogs and the computer chips first we should have enough we should be able to make the computer chips as well i'm going to, have to put a storage down for this have i got a storage i do i'm just going to put a storage down next to it just like that and then grab ourselves sorter and just to push the inputs well drag the um, coils into that storage. I think that's what we're going to do there and then let's put the other assembler here and then we can grab once this gets built, oh. we're going to make the circuit boards. And circuit boards need uh, the iron ingots and they also need the copper ingots, which we've got right here because the copper is going to come down here. Iron's going along here. You'll have to excuse the night time as well. I can't control the time of day. I maybe should look into the mods and to see if there is a permaday. If you guys know if there is a permaday mod, um, let me know kind of a thing. Um, but I kind of like the look of this place. It's just that you guys are going to see it when I, when I do it in the editing, like skipping forward. I mean, the time of day might just shuffle a little bit, so I apologize on that behalf. Uh, or even just a brighter torch for my mech. So let me know in the comments if you know of any of them. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to grab ourselves uh, the copper, which as we know... Uh, 0 0.75 seconds. So we're going to put two from that long one, and then one into there. And then we're going to put down a storage just behind this, like so. And then we are going to grab another sorter and take you from there straight into there. I might have to put two down, you know. Uh, so let's just make a couple more sorters which I need to wait for some computer chips. And eventually, I won't have to because I can just grab them from this storage. So let's grab an output of two from there, like so. And then we're going to bring in some power. So we're just going to bring in some power towers. So let's just produce some more of them. Now I've got to wait for this queue. So I'll be back with you in 79 seconds. So whilst I'm waiting for this, I've actually just realized I, we could upgrade our mech, which I am doing. I'm unlocking Mecha Core level one, which is to uh, give us 40 millijoules of uh, max core energy. So uh, we're waiting for that to be done. I can't, well, I could unlock the uh, universe exploration, but we need... Electro electromagnetic matrix which is the uh, thing we actually need to unlock for like future tech and stuff so if we go over to technologies we can see electromagnetic uh, matrix requires the circuit boards and the magnetic coils and that's going to allow us to build the matrix labs which is going to make the matrix uh, cubes but it's also going to be that's kind of cool isn't it and then we can also activate this as well so we need 10 coils and we need 10 uh, circuit boards. So like I said, we need power, but we also need... Let's put a power tower there, just so then that's powered. But then what I need is I need to send the outputs of these out here. And I'm going to put two on each of these. The reason I'm going to put two is because each of these storages, I've got two inputs going uh, and I'll have two outputs going as well. So it kind of makes it easier. And that's two smelters going to get added to this line and two smelters going to get added to this line. So now that I've got that I go across there, we can see circuit boards are now going into this storage, being constructed, and so as the uh, magnetic... Uh, coils so we can just grab some of these and then we can see up in the top left hand corner now that we are now you know using our research because it will we can actually untick this and tick this if we want to allow our inventory to actually uh, consume uh, are we actually short on one magnetic coil we are so let's just grab a couple more of them and that should allow us to unlock the uh, matrix 
Right, so with all of that done, I'm just going to have to remove that tower because I'm just looking at the matrix. I'm going to put the matrix uh, stations here. And what I've done as well, as you can tell, is I've doubled the storage on this just so we can, you know, the more storage, the better at the end of the day, right? Especially if they're stacked, they're not taking up horizontal space. Uh, so what we're going to do is I'm going to put down the matrix stations here. So if we go into our build menu now, we can actually see the matrix slabs are available to be built and also the cubes are able to be built, uh, made as well. Uh, but I don't want to automate these by hand. I want to put them into, well, get the matrix lab to create them. So I've already built four and you can see we've got four in our inventory. Um, so I want to put down um, our matrix slabs, which number seven is now unlocked, our little section. Uh, and I'm going to put these down here. And we can actually stack these as well. I think I want to do that. I want to stack them two, them two. If these to get, if I was to get these to be creating the matrix, I could put down another two, which is going to consume the matrix, right? So let's get two more of these. And whilst they're being built, we can start looking at the lines. So if we go in towards the matrix now, we can see we can produce them or we can focus this on research. So if I was to click produce, it's going to tell me the items I need. So I need the, obviously the circuit boards and I need the magnetic coils, which luckily enough is what we've just made here. But if I click on this one, uh, if I go back here and click on the research, this is going to allow just the consumption of the electromagnetic matrix to actually go towards whatever research or tech we want to research. So let's put that back to produce. We're going to get this to produce and then hopefully these two are ready as well. So let me just remove that. And we're going to stack them up and then we're going to make these to take the research. And then what we're going to need is we're going to need um, belts going across like this with another one here with another one here that goes down just like that or do i put it into a storage first i think i might put it into a storage i think the, these matrix when they come out of this should come out of a storage because they're gonna get made pretty slow yeah yeah let's remove that there let's add a storage here like this and then we're going to get our belt and place that along there like this to do that and what this is going to do is this is going to get the insert to go into there, insert to there. But then this output is going to output onto this belt like so, which will then in here is going to be the input for the cores. So these look extremely long arms are going to be bringing out the cubes dropping them onto this end one, which will then get sucked in here by this sorter into this storage. And then we're going to output onto this belt here, which will then get put into that one, which will consume the matrix, right? So all we need to do now is bring these over here. So what I'm going to do is bring that up there just like that. And that's, oh, that's wrong. I've got to remember that whichever direction I build in is the direction it's going to go. But if I click on the belt, I can click flip whole path like that. And that's all flipped and switched. Uh, Twitch chat taught me that actually. Uh, so we're going to put that there. And then we're going to put down the coils to go onto there, just like this. So that's them coils coming along. And then we're going to get the belts to come along here go over these like so and then make its way down here just like that and then oh i need to make some more sorters so let's make 10 of them and then let's just put them onto the just like that actually let's remove one of them so i just need to get some power towers sorry i need to organize these towers to be a little better and cleaner but now we can see everything should start powering just like this so we can see that you're being consumed at 17.1 per minute and my cubes are coming down they're going into here and if we go into our research now and then go up to the and then go into the mech upgrades and then we can go into here this is going to take 10 cores so if we activate this we can see this is now going up by itself because it's consuming here we can see the little symbol that it's now researching this so we can just kind of leave this to do its thing and we're just going to remove that there like that and then eventually like so we've now got automated research and then the next things I've done is I've gone through here and I've unlocked, well, I'm unlocking the communication control, which is to allow me to have one more construction drone. I've also uh, queued the drone engine so they can move a little quicker. Uh, and uh, I don't think we did anything else in there, did we? No, I got inventory capacity as well, but we do need steel. So I'm actually going to cancel this one because we need uh, steel and we don't have... 
Oh, steel. Can I cancel that? There we go. There we go. Communication control level one complete. So now we've got one construction drone. Well, additional. So that means we should have five uh, being built. And then we're going to get some drone speed as well. And because we're going to need steel, if we actually go into here, we can see steel smelting. Steel actually needs 120. So let's unlock that. And then once we've got that unlocked we can then go back into here and unlock the inventory capacity so then unlock that one so then once that's done i can just make the steel beams and then unlock that and use it from inventory slots but we do have a slight problem we can see right here this uh, matrix labs is only receiving 73 to 80 percent power that's because if we look into our stacks and go into our power tab we're actually over consuming what we're actually producing so we're making 8.10 watts but we're consuming, you know, around 9.5 average. So we need more power. And I think that is a good time to kind of end the episode and then head towards episode two, where we'll work on thermal power, we'll work on foundations and all that kind of good stuff. So thank you so much for watching. And remember, if you've enjoyed this content, to like, subscribe, and also leave a comment if it's just an emoji. And as always, keep smiling, and I'll see you in another video.